So F9, the action sequences are like nothing on earth. Some are literally out of this world. <laughs> so where do you go from here? How do you keep upping the ante? Oh, you know, I, I hope, I hope, I know that's not what we tried to do. You know, I think that, you know, we tried to kind of hopefully evolve and grow. You know, I just, it just happened that I think this one was a culmination of a lot of things in the making for years. And it resulted, I think, you know, the, the idea of sharing some, uh, some canon lore that's been talked about, but at the same time bringing characters back that has not been with us for years and also bringing a character back that actually nobody's met that has, has been part of this universe the whole time. Um, it it kind of just, it just organically kind of got us to a point where we were going to literally kind of challenge ourselves and do stuff we've never done before. Sending the Pontiac Fiero into space, was that in some way inspired by Elon Musk sending a Tesla into space on the back of a SpaceX rocket in 2018? Oh, you, you don't understand how many emails I got when he sent that the car. I feel like I'm like, is this, is it, like somehow I became like the, anytime a car goes into space, I, I must have gotten hundreds of emails from people. And um, I think it was through that and also the Virgin Atlantic launch that I think inspired us and we've been talking about it for years. And today I'm recreating an action sequence from the film. So what was your favorite action sequence to put together for F9? Ooh, I, you know, I think they all are, have their own challenges, you know. Um, I think the one that was, you know, the one that I, 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 I it's hard. It's a, that's a very difficult question, but I, I have to say the I'm one exactly <laughs> yeah and um but i have to say the the car going through the building that was one that i think we had a lot of conversations on and i was i was really you know i wanted to kind of stand by like the mantra of whatever crazy idea we do it practically and and having this amazing crew and like thousands of people to put our heads together you know we ended up um i think for that four seconds we had to destroy three cars <laughs> Um, it was, it took so long, eight months to kind of plan that. Um, but that's just kind of an example of kind of what, what we're all about and trying to kind of always bring things to life. Even the craziest ideas, um, we tried to do it practically. Yeah. When I was watching the movie, I was like, how many cars do you go through for each movie? How many cars are destroyed in the making of F9? <laughs> um, I look, I used to get really excited and I would get the exact count. Mm -hmm. And I think somewhere around fast five, I kind of stopped, uh, like I lost track and, and people just tell me like neighborhoods, you know, I believe fast five was the first time we crossed somewhere around 200. Um, but nine, we went past 250. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Why do you think the franchise has been so successful that we now see a second generation of fans going to the movies to watch this? I think it's the fact that, um, we, we love our characters. We love this universe and, we try very hard to kind of embrace evolution and growth. And, you know, I think we're, we're, I think we're the only kind of big action franchise where our lead characters have kids, you know? And, um, and we try very hard to make sure because I think when I talk to fans, you know, around the world, I always get a sense when they talk about these characters as if they're their extended family. So every two years they get to have a little family reunion, you know, and that's something that we don't, we try very hard not to forget. Yeah, I love the balance of like family, humanity and the characters, but also the action sequences. And in this movie, family is much of the theme and also fatherhood. Can you briefly, before we wrap, just talk on how fatherhood has changed Dom's character? Yeah, I mean, it's interesting because behind, you know, behind the camera, you know, we, when we first met, you know, for me it was 15 years ago, 16 years ago. Um, uh, we were just single, trying to make it you know, in this business. And you know, as we kind of embarked and kept kind of growing, we realized how unique this is. And so behind cameras, we started our families. Our kids are now growing up together, and so it has a special meaning. And I think every time, you know, talking to Vin, hanging out with them, exploring n new chapters. I can't help but see him as a friend, as a brother grow, you know, and, and that's something that we wanted to, to kind of bring uh, to life on this and, and, and to acknowledge it. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Hey You Guys. 
Hey, you guys, huh? Hey, you guys. Is yeah. that from the Goonies? It is indeed. Yeah. Nice. Hey! hey.